All right, so we are going to talk about recruiting. All right, recruiting. A lot of times people um, overcomplicate and overthink the process of recruiting. All right, so I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to keep it really, really simple. And um, and these are the steps that you're going to follow. All right, so um, I have notes. Let me pull them up. Okay, so um, so a couple like I don't know months ago, I got some word choices from some of our directors um, about different things that you could say. And so for those of you that are sharing the business, and maybe you're newer in the business, um, or something along those lines, this applies to actually everybody. Okay, um, I have more advanced word choices for people that have teams, and I might share those when we zip over to the manager room. Um, but uh, so this here, if you just want to keep it really simple and you want to put it in your own voice. All right. So here is a word choice from Lori Morris. And she said, um, hey, Deb, I know you love all things Tupperware. Can I send you a little info to um, info to help you purchase at a discount, maybe some extra cash um, at the same time. Right. So that's a great, those are great word choices. Um, here's another one. This one's from Christy Jackson. She says, hey, Jessica, I know you've been thinking, um, you've been looking at some new connections um, and something to do to pass the time during retirement. Would you like me to send you some information on, on how to uh, meet some strong, amazing women, right? So you see how like simple these word choices can be, right? Um, so one of the ones that, uh, that I use a lot, this is my word choice, right? Say, Hey, Jenny, if you, um, if I could show you how to earn some extra money around your family and busy schedule, would you be interested? Right? So I'm telling you these word choices, you see how simple they are. You customize them to whoever it is that you're talking to. If you're talking to a mom, customize it to them, somebody who's retired, customize it to them, somebody that you care about, give them a a real acknowledgement as to why you're contacting them about Tupperware and um and then say hey are you could I share some information with you would you be interested would you could you watch this video right and so then you send them a video and how amazing if you haven't seen the video that Pam put together right amazing 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 now that video is just like it just shows champions personality it's perfect. It's light. It's three minutes long. Okay. So it's very quick and simple. The bottom line is you need to send them to some sort of a tool, a resource, right? Um, it doesn't matter if there's a different video that you like that talks about the Tupperware opportunity, definitely like share that video. I have videos that are my favorites and it depends upon who I'm talking to as to who I send what to, right? Um, so I have several links. One link is to that video that Pam did. One link is to um, a great video that Amy and Jessica and some of their teammates did, which is fantastic because it just highlights different people and personalities. And it's great. That one's three minutes long. I have a five minute video that's a brief business overview. It's not it's it's less of like, come join us and more of like, hey, here's what you can get. Right. We also have a 17 minute more in depth overview of the business that all the directors did a while ago um, that is still extremely current. It just talks about the discount. It talks about um, your starter kit. It talks about those sort of things. So, so we have three, several different options. I'll also throw a couple more in there coming to think of it. There are a couple that Tupperware made that I absolutely love. I was telling Pam the other day, I was like, I can quote one of them. I love it so, so much. I've watched it so many times. And whenever I'm feeling down, I'll put it in. And it's like Sheila Tover and Pam and all these people. And I'm just like, I just, I just love it. <laughs> so, um, so I'll share some of those videos too that I've used over the years. And they're all still very relevant because it just talks about Tupperware and energy and the fun and all the cool things, right? So once they say, yeah, you can send me something, right? You send them something and say, hey, as soon as you get a chance to watch this, um, you know, send me a heart, right? And that, the reason why I say send me a heart is because it's one of the top five emojis, right? You don't want to say, send me a, you know, a love hand, you know, don't do that because they have to scroll too far to look for it, right? Send, you know, make it simple. Almost everybody has a heart in their top five emojis. So say, send me a heart or just say, you know, give me a thumbs up, whatever. I don't do thumbs up because I rarely put, I rarely use that emoji. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just never use a thumbs up emoji. I use the hard emoji a lot. So, um, 
So yeah, so you you say that, right? And then you that starts the conversation. Hey, what did you love about it, right? And you just kind of start walking them through that process. Something I highly, highly recommend is um is is for you to create your own board if you have not done that. And in your own board, put your enroll link. And when somebody's like, hey, how do I do this? Bam, you send it to them so quickly. They were like, whoa, how did you do that? Right. So definitely do that because then when the time comes, you're ready to go be like, hey, here, check it out. There are some options as low as 15 to whatever. Right. Um, but the big thing is just to keep it simple. And so here's the process. It's so and, and also, OK, so if they say no, the biggest thing, never, ever, 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 ever burn a bridge. <laughs> Did I say never, <laughs> ever, ever? <laughs> all right, never burn a bridge, all right? So some of the things that I, I say to people, especially if I'm a little um, cringy about asking them, but I really want to, but my, my head's getting in the way, right? But my heart's like, oh, they'd be so good at this. But my head's going, oh my God, Ellen, I can't believe you're actually asking this person, right? So something that I say is, um, is I say, please take this as the compliment it is. Right. I all I almost whenever I'm approaching somebody that I'm feeling a little ooh, about approaching, but if I know they would be amazing in the business. I just don't know if they're really interested. I'm afraid they're gonna like totally shut me down and I'm gonna feel like embarrassed. I always say that. I say, please take this as a compliment. It is like you are just an amazing person and you would be so great at this business. So, you know, it's it's okay if if it's it's not the right time for you, right? And so um, so always always be, you know, just be, be soft about that. Right. That's a way to kind of soften it. Right. So that way they're not like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's asking me about this business. I already told her I'm not interested. I've sent out all the vibes. I'm not interested. And she's still asking me, right. It kind of lets them off the hook. Um, but when somebody says no, right. When somebody says, no, I'm just not interested in this time. I don't, I don't want to watch a video or whatever. Say, no worries. Take it as a compliment. It is. You're just so amazing. I think you'd be great at this. I'd love to do it with you. You're so fun to hang out with, whatever, you know, be true to what the whole reason why you, you thought that you wanted to approach them anyways. And say, do you want me to keep you in the loop when we have an incredible offer? And maybe the timing might be right at that time. It is so rare. I have somebody say no to that question. It is so, so rare. Um, and then, or you could say something like, no problem. I was just thinking about some people that I know love Tupperware and would love a discount or possibly to make some extra money. You were the one of the first people that came to my mind. Do you want me to keep you in the loop when I have an incredible offer? And the reason why I always say that at the end is because I want permission to reach back out, right? Because then it makes it that much easier the next time for me to reach out. I already like, you know, kind of like walked over the hot coals <laughs> to actually reach out in the first place. And so I want to make it easier next time. I want them to be cold coals. Actually, I would like to be grass. I would like to be walking across grass <laughs> the next time when I'm reaching out to them. I don't want it to be as hard. So I always ask for permission to come back and offer it to them again. And then I make sure to put them on a list, right? A truly a list in the back of my my um, planner or whatever I'm using at the time. I cycle through different things. That's a whole other story. Um, so <laughs> put them in there in the notes in your phone, whatever your system is, right? So you can circle back to them. So here is the pattern. It's so unbelievably simple. All right. The pattern is you contact them, you get the conversation going, you invite them to a tool or to like to watch something or that's what it, that's what a tool is. A tool is a video. It's it's some sort of a, you know, even if you have a Word document, I used to carry a Word document that had pictures of my experiences in Tupperware and had my Tupperware story in it and I showed it at parties, right? So if you have something like that, that's a digital form or if, if you're face to face, you can have something like that that's real, right? And so um, you're, you're going to contact them. You're going to warm them up, invite them to watch a tool, follow up. If they say yes, um, sign them up, right? Send them that enroll link, right? And then if they say no, you're going to wait a little bit. You know, you're going to wait like 30 days, 90 days. It just depends upon the vibe that you're picking up from them. And then reach back out and you repeat that same process. You reach back out, you warm them up, you have a conversation, you invite them to watch a tool, you follow up, 
If they say no, they go back into the cycle in a couple of weeks or whatever. You reach back out, you invite them to watch a tool. That's the reason why we want so many videos, right? We want Pam's video and Amy and Jessica's video. We want my video. We want this video made from Tupperware, like as many as possible. Make your own video too. Don't be afraid to make your own video. Make it targeted towards you know, like I said, retired people make it targeted towards um, people in their 40s, like me, make it <laughs> targeted towards, you know, a new mom, make it targeted to, you know, somebody who's in their 20s and like completely not attached, right? Make it targeted to just a single person, right? <laughs> and just, and, and so that way you can have those ready to go all the time. So I will have those links posted um, in Champion ready to go for you guys. Um, and then um, I think that's, it for right now um yeah i think that's it i was going to talk in the in the leaders for just a second and give them a couple word choices to invite people that used to be on their teams back 